at the beginning of the season, if you told me Manchester United will win one trophy and also go and win another trophy, like a second trophy, I wouldn't believe it. So, uh, yeah. So, hello, guys. Welcome to the United Way. Manchester United hosting Sevilla in Old Trafford on Thursday. In this video, I want to tell you guys my lineup and I want you to also tell me your lineup where's the tactical board i always put the tactical board because it's for you guys that's a tactical board so i want you guys to drop your comments here below and tell me what lineup will you use i want you guys to get into ten hags mind because this is a very important game this is a game in which i think if bruno has a yellow card or yeah if bruno have a yellow card or casemiro has a yellow card it would it, it might it might it might mess up our chances to go ahead to play the semi-finals so uh it's important for us to really uh uh, think through the game in order to know what lineup is necessary and uh, coming back from a two uh, victories uh, back to back two victories I think that also helps uh, our case of being very positive in this game on Thursday by the way I invite all of you for the watch along we are here and guys also we are doing a giveaway we're giving away one of these you can see them here below very beautiful have not made in China if you can get Manchester United lineup, drop your lineup below. We do that on all our previews. We'll get back to you and give it uh, your your present to you. So let's go uh, deep into it, uh, into the, uh, into our analysis as the team. We know very well that Manchester United has tried. Yeah, Ten Hag, Ten Hag is trying to get a more possession-based football, in a way that Manchester United can dominate games and also that the fans should see that how uh, goals come, you see, if you see what I mean. I mean, Eric Ten Hag is working so hard to get the players. If you saw the type of players he brought uh, in, the, in this season, he's trying to get players that can actually dominate the game. And that's why we are very positive because we have two players who have missed or we have missed for almost a month. Yeah, in uh, um, we are very happy that we are seeing Casemiro who will be back and also Ericsson who will be back. I don't know if it will be a risk to start Ericsson in the game, but I think Ten Hag trusts this guy. He knows his his um, qualities. He has total uh, respect of the guy's to, uh, um, talent. I think he is going to start with Ericsson. Another player I am really worried about is Casemiro. I want to get your opinion. Should Casemiro start? I'm asking you as a fan. But personally, I it's a hard one, but I think I'll give Casemiro at least a four to five minutes because I know Sevilla, I know the Spanish league. I've watched a lot of Spanish football, and I know the Spanish the Spanish the team will also we do all possible means to give to so Casemiro should have a yellow card and miss the next leg. I know how they are. They will they will, they will take advantage of that situation because they understand the statistics and they understand how important it is for them. Talking about our opening Sevilla, they just had a game. They drew a game. Um, against uh, Celta Vigo, they were playing down, I think, 10 men for for 70 minutes, and they drew that game. 70 minutes, you won't believe me, and they drew the game. So they are, what I'm trying, why am I saying this, is because a team that can really play a low block, and you know, United, this season, we are trying to break the low block. We have been better, doing better and better, more than uh, our previous uh, manager, uh, um, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralf Ragnick. But I think that is one of the biggest weakness for Manchester United. If you can press Manchester United as a team and also hold on as a, blo a low block, I think you you can easily frustrate them. So talking about frustration, how will Manchester United approach this team? I'm going to tell you guys what I think my lineup should will be, should be, what I know my lineup should be. And I hope Ten Hag will use the same lineup. But, but it's so difficult to predict Ten Hag's lineup. One person has won and... Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I'm surprisingly she's from the US. But anyway, let me go. I'll start with De Gea. It's obviously it's our best, but De Gea, I think he's one of the best goalkeepers this season. Uh, he has, I think, 13 clean sheets uh, with a pop, which means De Gea has had a good season for all of you De Gea haters. I'm go I'm doing a shot about De Gea shortly, shortly, uh, shortly, short, shortly. Um, I'll start with De Gea and back. My two central defenders, I know Harry Maguire had a nice game. He had a what is a nice game? Ari Maguire had a, a proper, a good game. Like the, the last game we played against Everton, he had a decent game. But again, we're playing against a team who isn't uh, technically on uh, on a very top level and a team which uh, isn't quick. Uh, I think uh, that the, uh, Everton is a perfect, type of perfect game that, Harry, that can fit Harry Maguire's way of playing. 
United wants to play a very spacious game, open game, right? Where we can dominate, where we can build up from the back and Harry Maguire doesn't fit it. So all of you who are hitting hard on me about Harry Maguire, I don't hate any players. Harry Maguire doesn't fit it. So I will not start with Harry Maguire if Veran is fit. I think, and I think Veran is going to start. So Veran and, and obviously Lisandro Martinez as holding midfielder, the two holding midfielders on the left. I won't take a risk of Luke Shaw. If he is a uh, 75%, okay, I won't start him. I will play with uh, Malasia. I know Malasia might have an issue, might have an issue but uh, I will start with him. I think every time he has come back to be a deputy for Luke Shaw, he has done pretty well. And uh, on the right side, I know many of you will go for David Delo, for Diego Dalo because Diego Dalo is quite very, uh, uh, is quite good. He's quite uh, technically uh, better than um, you know Aaron Wambasaka. But I will stick with Aaron Wambasaka. I just don't know where all these messages are coming, all these news and stories are coming about United searching for a right back. And why am I saying this? Because I mean, as a fan, you agree with me. Uh, Aaron Wambasaka has been one of the revelation since after the World Cup. I think Manchester United want to sell Aaron Wambasaka. If somebody comes to some good money, they will, they will give him. They will dish Aaron Wambasaka out. But I asked my uh, you guys if uh, he should be sold. Guys, make sure you join our Facebook groups. We have a lot of uh, Q and A questions on Facebook groups asking you guys if uh, play, certain players should stay or leave or stay. It's very active. We are hitting slowly 20,000 followers. So uh, join us uh, in that uh, in our Facebook group. So I'll start with Aro Ambasaka playing with two holding midfielders. You know what? My two holding midfielders, I will take the risk of starting uh, Casemiro. And I think Sabitza should wait. Casemiro and Ericsson. Why? We're playing against a Spanish team, which is technically good. And I want players who are good on the ball. I'm not trying to say Sabiza isn't good on the ball, but I think these two players can manage that game. This is a quote. I mean, this is this is this is the top game, you know. So uh, we 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 have to be spot on. We have to be careful. So uh, the um, going in front of them, play in front of them. I will go with obviously with Bruno Fernandez, the captain of Manchester United, the leader in my view of Manchester United. You can argue that. He will play. He will be the main player. And on the right, believe me, we are playing a Spanish team. I don't want to listen all these players. I mean, it's easy. I will go with Da Silva, Antonio on the right, the Brazilian. In the left, I don't know the situation. We don't know. You and I, we don't know the situation. Marcus Rashford is such a problem now. Not a problem. His injury issue is such. I mean, most of us, the fans, are worried about it. I will give Marcus Rashford the rest. Unfortunately, it's one of the quick players that we have on the ball. But I think sometimes we need to buy the bullet. What I would do is, because we are playing a more offensive game, I would have brought a midfielder at that position. But I will put Sancho on the left. Left, right, they will be switching with the Anthony. And at the ni nine, uh, Marshall starts in the nine. So Marshall will be the lone center forward of that game. Tell me what you think about the lineup. Because this is what I, this is what the channel is all about. And guys, please, if you like the content, please make sure you click the like button first and also subscribe because this is what we're doing. We've been, if you've watched the video up to this time, we want to go to the US in January and give you guys some contents here, live content for our fans here on the channel. But we need your input. So please always like these videos and also subscribe so the algorithm may share it to other United fans. That's the way it works. So tell me guys what you think. I think I'll go with David De Gea, the two holding midfielders, you know, Lisandro Martinez and Veran. On the left, you have um, uh, Darren Malassa, right? You have uh, uh, Aaron Wambasaka, two, two uh, play, uh, pivot midfielders. You have Casemiro and Ericsson, uh, our classic. In front of them, you have Bruno on the right. Uh, Anthony, left, Sancho, nine, will be uh, Marshall. I will go for a 3-1 Manchester United. We need we need to put pressure on this team. We need to get we're playing Spanish teams are so slow and I think we can we can do it. So uh tell me guys what you think below. Tell me your scores and your lineup. Who knows you might you might um get uh Eric Tenhack's lineup. So I'll be really glad to hear for what you guys think. And also tell me your score for Manchester United. Don't forget to come here where we'll be doing our live watch along here when the games are going 
that is up to you to decide but i would love to welcome you guys on the channel if you're if i'm honest anyway guys it was great talking to you i feel pumped and very positive about this game i think united is going to win i've gone for a 3-1 or a 2-0 but a 3-1 for me because i'm a bit i am a bit worried that uh, the spanish team will have a goal also but anyway guys much a like on the video get involved with the united way and uh talk to you soon bye bye